Vichy, we're in the middle of our intro. Look at it. You're included now. Are you happy? Wow. Ah. The muscle pumps is unreal. I feel it. It's delicious. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. Buff babes and bros. Oh my goodness. Mid yawn. And welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Julie Renee. I'm an IFBB Wellness Pro, and I want to welcome you to. Vision. We're in the middle of our intro. Do you want to be included? Okay. Okay. You're included now. Are you happy? All right. And I want to welcome you to another video. If you're new here, my name is Julia Renee. I'm an IFBB Wellness Pro, and this is Vision. He is uh, the cutest dog on the planet. And I want to welcome you to our Monarch series. In this series, what are we doing in this series? This series, we are on a whole journey of transformation, and this month we are on body, so I figured as a part of this series, today I'm going to go over my new workout routine so that I can get re-motivated because I honestly do not want to go to the gym these days. And I'm going to go over my top five supplements. Supplements can be super overwhelming because, you know, everyone tells you that you need all of the things and realistically, you don't need supplements at all. And this is what I always tell you guys is that supplements supplement things that you're not getting in your diet. However, it is very difficult to get all of the good things in our diet solely from whole foods. That's why supplements were made, to make our lives easier. So I'm gonna go over my first couple that I can't live without, right? Okay, so my number one is the first form Opti Greens. I have mine in a cute little container because I'm bougie like that. Okay, the reason that I can't live without this one is because not only is it the obvious you're getting a lot of your greens in like 50 plus different greens but it's also really helpful for a strong immune system and to reduce bloat that's one of the number one things that i've seen for me personally is a reduce in bloat and energy right when i wake up in the morning that's why i personally like to take it either before my meal one or right after my meal one. It also helps break down the food that you eat because there's a digestive blend and probiotic in the greens. So you're basically getting all of the things. So I'm also adding like some other, you know, things to my little morning mixture, but these are not like my top ones. This is glutamine, which is uh, to help like preserve muscle and for muscle fatigue. Um, but my second favorite, all time favorite is the first form fiber. I put it in a different container because I'm just bougie like that. So obviously fiber is going to help with making sure that you are regular, which is super important and we don't realize how important it is because sometimes we just go throughout life like thinking that it is normal for us to have bad digestion when it definitely isn't. And it feels so much better to just have a good digestion. Everything's running smoothly. So I always take one scoop of fiber in the morning to make sure that I'm going to the bathroom regularly. I'm reducing my bloat and it helps just break down the food that you were eating, especially if you're eating so frequently, having fiber in your diet is kind of difficult. Um, not a lot of us are really, I'm, I'm one of them. I don't really watch how much fiber I'm getting with my whole foods. And sometimes we're just eating like the proteins and carbs and we, we miss the fiber from like chewing actual greens. So this is like a fail safe, you have it in here. So number one is the Opti Greens, helps with digestion, bloat, has digestive enzymes so that you can break down food properly. And then number two, we have the fiber that keeps you regular, keeps you on track in the, you know, poo poo area. And where's my mixing tool? Da 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 da. Okay, and then 
Once I'm drinking my greens in the morning, I also make sure that I take my micro factor pack. For the, these are usually like the ones that you can bring like on the go for your home and they come in like a box. I'm out of the box um, because that's how often I use them. I use them every single morning. I usually have them in my little pill container. So I just break it up and put it in there. But what's cool about these is that you are getting six different pills in one container and six different uses for them. So I always forget like how much how many different things are actually in this one pack. If you're confused about like what you need to take just for like general health and wellness and you don't really want to buy like a whole bunch of different things, this is a really good place to start. Because it has a bunch of different things all in one packet and it's easy. And if you forget your pills, then I mean, you could still forget to take this, but it's a lot easier because it's all in one. So in one packet, it has an antioxidant, it has a multivitamin, a COQ10, fruits and veggies, probiotic, and an EFA, all in one. Hashtag health. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how I start creating a new workout plan for me, how I go into it step by step, just in case you are wanting to make one on your own. I also have a couple of programs that's a little bit more tailored towards kind of like a wellness physique, which is mine, like the Quad Queen program, which is down in the description. I am making a new one. Um, so actually what I'm working on right now in this video is actually going to eventually turn into the quad queen 2.0 program um so i'm going to show you kind of how i go about creating that um if you are wanting to do it on your own okay so when i'm writing a new workout program for myself i first think of the areas i need to work on the most and what areas i need to work on the least this works for me personally because i'm a bodybuilder and i'm judged on specific aspects of my physique and I find it easier to focus on one or two areas I want to grow instead of a bunch at the same time. Next, I plan out the days that I'm gonna lift and the days I'm gonna rest. Since I've been lifting a while, I know my body pretty well. That's why I can schedule rest days. Through experience, I've been able to gauge when my body has more energy and when my body starts feeling fatigued through the week. I like to use these scheduled rest days as more of guidelines rather than a fact. After that, I label each day with what I'm going to be working on. I like to start with my hardest session on Monday so I have a fresh body and I can use all my energy at the beginning of the week. Then I write out what compound movement I'm going to do within that lifting session. So for example, on my quad focus leg day, I chose a compound movement of squats. One thing I also like to do is switch some things out slightly from month to month. For example, on my hamstring focus leg day, my compound movement was RDLs last month. This month, I wanted to focus on sumo deadlifts, so I wanted to do this because, first of all, it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting for you, especially if you're not motivated by your workout plan, and it can help target this area in a different way. Okay, so now that we have done that, all we have right now really is the general guideline, kind of like a blueprint for how we're going to come up with the rest of the workout routine. So. Let's take Monday for example. So Monday I have my quad focus leg day and then I have my squats is what I want to do for my compound movement. So the compound movement is going to be like a squat, a deadlift, a shoulder press, you know, on the barbell 
things like that that take a lot of full body effort. So for me, I like to make sure that is one of the first things that I am doing. So instead of like immediately going into my squat, so what can I do on my leg day to warm up my quads before I go into my squats? So for me, this can look like uh, doing walking lunges down the turf. It can also look like doing some leg extensions at a super lightweight, just really feeling like the contraction. So that's how I decide what I'm going to do before I go into my squats. And then after I'm warmed up a little bit for whatever uh, muscle group we're going to be working that day, then I'll go into the squat, which is the compound movement. And I like to do it at the beginning so that I have the majority of my energy is used towards that. And then that's when you can start adding accessory movements in. Accessory movements for quad days can be something like a leg extension. You know, if you don't want to do squats for your um, compound movement, there's some squat machines that you can use. There's also like a hack squat that you can use. So there's different variations of the, just the traditional squat that you can use to kind of target your legs in a different kind of area. That's what I found that worked really well for me is that although I enjoy doing squats, sometimes it's just like boring doing the traditional conventional squat over and over and over. And then I'm bored of my routine and then I don't wanna do it. So by switching it out for something that is like a hack squat or you do a machine uh, squat instead of doing the barbell, things like that keep it interesting for me. So then you could start filling it in with more accessory movements, maybe some body weight stuff that you do while you're supersetting with the accessory movements. Um, so that's how I'm gonna go about this workout for today. I like to try the workouts that I do for my programs first on myself before I give them to the general public because you know I wanna see if it's painful enough and I also wanna see if it's like realistic and if it's not too challenging to where it's like you can't do it at all and I want it to be challenging enough so that it pushes you. So we're getting ready to go and do, I want to say it's gonna be like a more of like a hamstring focused workout or a glute focused workout. I'm trying to decide like which one I wanna do, but I guess we'll just see when we get there. Okay guys, so I'm packing my gym bag right now. So I have my water, I always make sure that it's full and then I never go to the gym without my Gym Reapers grips. These are, you guys have seen me wear grips for such a long time, especially if we're doing something like, I use them for upper body and I use them for lower body like just as much, like especially if we're doing anything where we're holding dumbbells like RDLs. These are so awesome, like they're super durable. And then I also like to make sure that I'm taking my knee sleeves to protect my knees while I'm lifting because guys, you only get one pair of knees so <laughs> these are things that I make sure to keep inside my bag. I also have where, especially for glute day, we'll probably use these today, but these are the ankle straps by Gym Reapers. So they're so easy. You just undo <laughs> the strap and you wrap it around your ankle like this. Boom, and it goes into, okay, wait, let me just show you. Okay, this is how you do, like that. Boom, and you can do kickbacks. Cable kickbacks, boom, boom. I had to show you this cute outfit that I made. So I took one of the men's Young LA tops. It usually goes down to like here, and it's already basically cut like this, and all I did was just like crop it a little bit, and I threw one of the men's flannels on over it so that I can wear this like when I'm leaving the gym, because usually like I'm cold in my car with like the AC going. Look how freaking cute! Young LA, it can be for men and it could be for women. You can wear whatever you want from it. That's why I like it. Okay guys, so my next supplement that's on my top five list, this is going to be number four out of five, is First Form's Endraformance. Oh my God. So I did a video with Emily Hayden a while ago and I have been with First Form for over two years and I didn't know about this product. It is quite literally the best product for going to work out. So not only does it have creatine in it, it also has a little bit of caffeine, not as much as like to my liking, 
but it has um, how much creatine? It's five grams per serving. And then it has about 50 milligrams of green tea extract. But this stuff has been so pivotal to how well my workouts go. It is insane. Like it amplifies strength, it delays muscle fatigue. You know when like you're halfway through your workout and you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm getting tired. Like you feel it coming. This pushes through that point. So what I like to do is I drink like half of it when I am getting ready to go into the gym, like while I'm driving to the gym, and then I finish the rest of it like during my workout and I have it during there so that I can like have a steady high energy workout throughout the whole time. It also has a ton of electrolytes in it so you're gonna stay hydrated throughout your workout. I also, you know, bring an extra workout uh, jug so that it has water in it, but this, I'm serious, and I, the muscle pumps that you get taking this is unreal. Like I haven't been needing to take any of the pump product because of this one thing. So like if you're going to get one product that's going to help you with the gym, this is going to be your go-to. Um, if you want any like additional caffeine in it, cause this, this is 50 milligrams of caffeine, which for like normal gym goers, it's like not that much. So what I do is I pair it with a first form energy drink. They literally just came out with energy drinks. When I went to go visit first form a couple weeks ago, they had just launched them. So I've actually never tried this flavor. Damn. What can't they do? Literally. And it's zero calories. Some energy drinks have like 10 calories, five calories. Zero calories, so I'm gonna mix this, drink it on the way to the gym, and drink this before I get to the gym. Does anyone else just like eat their pre-workout meal on the way to the gym? Me? I just got like a bagel, a cinnamon raisin bagel by Dave's. Put a little bit of cashew butter on it, and we're good to go. It's delicious. Okay guys, so for this workout, I started out with sumo deadlifts, like I said I was going to, and we're gonna work our way up in weight. I haven't done these in a long time, so I'm definitely uh, had to start at a lighter weight, and it was um, humbling for sure. Once I reached about my max weight, I dropped the weight down very light, and then did really controlled reps. So really focusing on just bringing the weight up and squeezing my glutes at the top. Next, we moved into the pit shark machine. I love, love using this for glutes and hamstrings. So what I like to do is I switch out the attachment that goes around your hip for a triangle one so that I can focus on my glutes and hold the attachment in front of me and in between my legs. You might have also seen me do this with a dumbbell or you've done it with the dumbbell before, but for me, sometimes the dumbbells don't go heavy enough and just holding the dumbbell like that, it ends up kind of slipping. So I usually do this machine instead so I can go a little bit heavier. So I did this for a couple of sets, increasing the weight and in between, I supersetted it with some band work where I would lean forward on the machine a little bit and hold on to the prongs and do air abductions and kickbacks, staying low the whole time. Sometimes I would do kickbacks and then sometimes I would do like pulsing squats and just keeping that tension on the glute right after you went heavy was gnarly. So next I dropped the weight very light and did a couple sets on the same machine, switching between RDLs and like a squat, really focusing on that hinge and pushing my hips back for the RDL and that stretch in the hamstring and then focusing on coming back up and then dropping down for the squeeze at basically like dropping down into the squat and then coming back up and squeezing the glute. So like go down, RDL, pause, come back up, squat, squeeze. Exactly like that. Like that's what I was doing when I was doing this through my head. I was like, slow, 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 slow. And then after that, I moved into the hip thrust machine where I started a little lighter weight and did controlled reps between eight and 10. I did this for a couple of sets and supersetted it with some banded kickbacks and then I would rest. So basically hip thrust machine, banded kickbacks, then rest, that's one set total. And I did this for a couple of sets. And then on the last set of hip thrusts, I dropped a weight 
light and did basically like a half rep. So more than a half rep actually. So I basically would go up halfway down, all the way up, all the way down. That was one. So it was just, it's like a full, it's like a rep and a half equals one rep. It's gnarly and it gives you a really good glute pump. So I did that and I did it until failure for that glute session. And then lastly, I did a lying hamstring curl at a little bit of a heavier weight and I would superset it with some sliders on the turf. So you you can use like regular sliders like, like that are actually for the gym, but I didn't have any at my gym and I need to get some for sure. So I just found this like flyer and it was perfect because it was really slippery and I put it under my feet and used it. Oh man, does this humble you. It really is just so freaking hard. So supersetting like a heavier weight with like a body weight on the sliders, like really just burnt out my hamstrings and felt so freaking good. So give that a try. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe get some actual sliders. I know Jim Reapers has some sliders and I'm gonna have to go, go and get some for myself. So that was the workout for today. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, y'all, we are back from our workout. That was literally one of the best workouts I've had in a long time. As you guys know, I really have a... Is that sun crooked? Oh well. It took me forever to hang it up. Don't tell me if it's crooked in the comments. It'll just make me sad. Anyways, so best workout I've had in a long time. I haven't been motivated whatsoever. And I did a completely new workout this time. And I literally just like thought of it like on the fly. The only thing I knew I wanted to do was sumo deadlift. So I'm assuming I am going to have painful glutes and hamstrings tomorrow. And I'm so excited because I'm gonna create my new wellness program with that workout in it. And now that I've tried it, I know that it works great. It's a killer. And then now I have my beautiful poke bowl. Look at it. Look at it! I've been making these as my post-workout meal and they're just like so yummy and delish. We have some vegetables, we got some shrimp, we got some seaweed, white rice, and some green onions. Usually I do it on a bed of lettuce, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna have to do it with it. Okay guys, so the fifth and last of my top five supplements is magnesium. So this is in the flavor peach ring. So I take one scoop of this every single night and it helps me physically, mentally relax so that I can have better sleep. And it has been a game changer for me. I love the flavor. It's like kind of like a nice sweet treat to have at the end of the night but sleep is super important for your overall health and just, you know, so you can recover and actually train to your highest ability. So this has been a game changer. Also, I put the cocoa aminos on top of it. Literally, why is the cocoa aminos like so much more, what's the word? Soy saucy than just regular soy sauce. Like I barely put any on it. And I'm like, wow. I filled it. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoy. I love you all so much. And you are more powerful than you think. Bye.